Good afternoon, Kentucky, and thank you for joining us on this Friday. I'm Juliana Valencia. School districts across the state, including JCPS, are off today as teachers protest at the state capitol. It's all in hopes that lawmakers will override Governor Matt Bevin's vetoes on the tax and budget bills. Our Sarah Wagner is live at the capitol with more on this ongoing fight for teachers. Hello, Sarah. Hey there, Juliana. Well, Frankfurt is certainly a popular place to be today, and you can take a look around and see that just about every inch of this front lawn of the Capitol is packed full of not only teachers, but their supporters here today to raise their voices and speak out. Bus after bus has rolled through this morning, packed full of teachers, different shuttles to bring them to these Capitol steps to rally. And there has been one speaker after another to uh, talk to the protesters, thank them for being here and unite those voices together. We also heard from Secretary of State Allison Lundergan Grimes and Attorney General Andy Bashir, both urging everyone here to turn this moment into a movement and assuring teachers they are both here to be their voice. Now, we've also heard plenty of chants from teachers and supporters today, like 120 strong will remember in November, vote them out and for the kids. Of course, there are plenty of signs echoing those same messages, but the overwhelming message here today is one that is very positive. These teachers tell us that they feel very united and very empowered to be here together to send this message and everybody may have a little bit of something different to say, but they are sending one clear and very loud message to lawmakers. We just got to do the right thing. Come together, Democrats, Republicans. We're not a political state. We are Kentuckians. Stand united and do what's right. That's all I want. You know, I think everyone thinks it's all about the pension, and that is a component that's important to us. But I mean, all of the cuts will affect kids everywhere, and I think people don't realize how deep those cuts are going to impact schools. And so when classrooms are crowded, and when there's not transportation, and when there's not textbooks, and I mean, it's just, you know, they've got to fund it. It's, it's the future of everything. And we were here last week, last Monday, for that first rally, and you saw how packed it was. It's a similar story today, but the, the difference here is they were only letting 500 people into the rotunda as opposed to last time when they were just letting everybody through, and that rotunda was jam-packed as well. But the nice news is it's much better weather today, so that's helping out a lot. You can see we've got plenty of supporters here ready to show their love for their teachers, absolutely. So we're going to have much more for you throughout the day. Make sure to follow us on social media and check our website, WHAS 11. Dot com to see a wrap up of everything. Reporting live in Frankfurt, Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News. A lot of teachers out there. Thank you, Sarah. Well, Governor Bevin's office released this statement today from Budget Director John Chilton. Chilton says the bill the governor vetoed overestimated the revenue that could have resulted from it by as much as $87 million. Chilton's statement says because of that, it would have put Kentucky's budget out of balance and would have required a budget reduction order early in the fiscal year. Chilton went on to urge any new bills proposed should be balanced.